Welcome back to our series of videos introducing some of the capabilities of Curo on Power Platform. I'm Mitchell Philpott, and it's my pleasure to demonstrate to you today how you can use Curo to manage reviews and related advice, how you can keep everyone in touch with what's going on, and how you can use Curo's document automation features to quickly create documents that might currently be taking hours to prepare. Now, before diving into our demo, I'd like to start with an explanation of the structure of Kiro, because it's a little unlike many other systems. We designed it from the ground up to support holistic advice and to help you manage clearly segmented ongoing service. Kiro is what we often refer to as account centric. And what we mean by that is that the data within Kiro is connected and organized logically so that you can view it and you can easily report on it. Accounts can be companies, they can be trusts or they can be households. And against any account, you can have multiple contacts, human beings. With corporates, you'll have contact records representing the people you deal with, the people you correspond with, the people you advise and the employees you manage benefits on behalf of. With trusts, contacts might be the trustees, the beneficiaries, all of the interested parties with their relationships authentically captured and reproduced in Curo in a way that makes it easy to communicate and easy to understand who performs what role. And with households, the key household contacts, their partners, their offspring and their dependents, all represented as unique individuals, but with their relationships to one another clearly shown, supporting intergenerational planning and long-term relationship management as those offspring mature and build households and companies of their own. Reviews, whether initial, ad hoc, in response to an event, or scheduled and routine, are recorded in Curo, and review records are very much the backbone of the ongoing financial planning process, recording evidence of the client's identified and changing objectives, their requirements, in other words, the things they need to do to meet those objectives, and your specific product and service recommendations. Curo logically connects everything, and the way Curo is designed lets you easily see and navigate between related information. As we'll see in a minute, from an account, you can view everything, all the history of reviews, all the recommendations, etc. Whereas from an individual review record, you can see the requirements and the advice specifically arising from that review. The system lets you track what the client did in response to your advice. Did they proceed according with your recommendations? Did they decline to proceed? And if so, why? Or did they simply defer action until a later date, perhaps on the grounds of priority or affordability? The important thing is how the system tracks change over time. The evolving family in the case of a household, changing needs and priorities, reasons why, and the actions taken. All tracked in data, all reportable via suitability letters and review reports for clients, in pipeline and new business forecasts and analysis for the business in tracking everyone's workload and, of course, in evidencing work done, value delivered and fees earned. Let's take a look. So let's open Curo. I'm already logged into Microsoft 365 through Microsoft's multi-factor authentication. And via this menu, I can gain access to all of the applications that are assigned to me, including Curo. My entry point into the system is my entry point of choice. As an advisor, I've personally chosen to use the advisor dashboard, but I can select any dashboard as my default. And if I don't find one that's perfect for me, well, I can just create my own. Look out for our video showing you exactly and how easily that's done. But my dashboard suits me just fine because it gives me the information I'm most interested in. The reviews that are in progress for my clients, the value of the recommendations I've made, but not yet closed, and my pipeline of new business showing me the stage that we're at. My dashboard also gives me a list of my tasks, the things that I need to personally attend to, things that have been added by me into Curo, tasks and to-dos that have been added in Outlook and synchronized across, things that have been assigned to me by others, and also tasks that have been assigned to me automatically by workflow. Here, I can collaborate with colleagues using the integrated Microsoft Teams, but that is the subject of an entirely different video and one that's well worth watching if you haven't already. So let's focus on the job in hand. Have a look at my reviews. Although by default, I'm looking at reviews by their scheduled month, what Curo is brilliant at is turning data into information 
And here I can easily see my reviews by status, by the power planner that's working on them, or by any other criteria. I can even add charts of my own if I need something that the system doesn't already provide. Whilst what I said about Curo's data structure is fresh in our minds, let's look at the advice given in relation to this review. Here are the requirements identified and the recommendations made so far. Here's a link to the account and here's how easy it is to navigate around the system because everything is logically linked and just a click away. As I'm in the planning process currently and preparing advice, I want to see the client's fact find and here it is. I can scroll through the client and their partner's personal details, any family, independence, vulnerabilities, wills or powers of attorney, all logically structured against this household. I can see the family's objectives. And from here, I could click to drill in to view related planning, advice given and actions taken. Detailed occupation information, related taxation, business interests and ownership, assets and liabilities, as well as existing plans and provisions, current as well as legacy. Again, I'm a click away from the detail of all those, underlying investments, values, benefits, expiry dates, etc. And to the client's risk appetite and their investment experience, and so to anticipated changes. The kind of information you might find tremendously valuable in suitability or planning reports, in setting the agenda for future reviews, and in order to ensure that nothing's forgotten. All your valuable information held in your one secure place, accessible to your reports, invaluable in analysis, and all available to external technology providers as well, because all the data in Curo, every single field, is available to be used in other applications secured via Microsoft's freely available API. Let's get back to our review and let's see some of that data being used to generate a report. From the account, I can go straight to the current review and I can see exactly what's going on and what's outstanding from the timeline. Projects gather together a sequence of tasks and automatically generate and allocate those tasks according to your company's own procedures and best practices. And back again to the advice given in relation to this review. But what about those planning areas considered but for which no advice is needed at this point in time, the outcome of our review. That's a key consideration for suitability. And here's how easily we can record the outcome of conversations so that the suitability report can incorporate that data too. Having completed the review outcomes and findings, what about the detail of our recommendations? The initial and the ongoing fees, for example, they are all here. And here's a wonderful feature, a really efficient way of navigating between related records. The value of recording recommendations in the system isn't just about efficient suitability and disclosure, keeping track, supporting future reviews, etc. It's about making it really efficient to implement advice and begin the admin process as well. But implementing and managing new business is a separate subject covered in a different video. For now, I'm going back to the review and we're going to generate a report. Document generation and automation in Curo is, for me, one of its outstanding features. The template report builder is amazingly powerful and can generate intelligent reports in seconds, often saving hours. In this simple example, we're merging data from the fact find, data from the client's objectives, their requirements, and the recommendations we've entered. We're pulling in data that's been pre-configured, such as the composition of the model portfolio, even clickable links to the investor documentation. We're bringing in standard text, which explains why the product and why the provider, your words, not ours. And we're conditionally including and excluding words, sentences, and whole sections based on the logic that you control. SmartFlows is extraordinary. But adding all that data, well, surely that takes time. Adding recommendations actually is quick and easy, especially if you set up standard services and standard recommendations and fee templates. Let me show you how. Against this requirement, we've identified for the client to write a will. We haven't yet recorded our recommendation. So let's do that now. We have an internal service offering, and I'm going to recommend that. Services can be externally provided, 
And what I'm doing here makes it really easy for internal or external service recommendations to be made, explained, handed over and tracked. That's it. The recommendation is added. The system knows the objective, it knows the requirement, and it knows the actual service I've recommended in response. So it can do the job of writing the suitability recommendation for me, or at least giving me a very good draft. And what about product recommendations? Well, let's recommend a new ISA for June. In just a few clicks, I've recorded what I'm recommending, how much, into what portfolio, and what fees are to be disclosed and charged for implementation and for ongoing advice. Here is that recommendation. Here are the fees, and here are the details which I can enrich and finesse if I need to. So speaking of fees, with the additional recommendations that I've just recorded, my dashboard will now be updated because it gives me information in real time. So let's have a look. As you'll remember, these charts let me easily get to the underlying data. They let me see the records that they represent. And what's more, the chart elements act as dynamic filters. So I can see exactly what recommendations make up that total of initial fees. Now, you're probably thinking, OK, Mitchell's spoken a fair bit about standards and how setting up the system can make it easier and quicker to use, how your own report templates can dynamically incorporate your own words for consistent quality as well as efficient creation. Although configuring your Curo is the subject of a much more detailed video, let's just take a quick moment before we end, whilst we're here, to look at configuring those things, because it's really very straightforward indeed. Here I am in settings, where you can set up fee templates, where you can record your propositions to easily segment clients and track the promises you've made, where you can configure model portfolios, not only making it easy to generate detailed advice, but to track the values and the volumes of investors in those models as well. Products are pre-configured for you as our providers, but your explanation of why you would recommend them is down to you. And services, such as the will writing service we recommended earlier. Here's where you record your standard text that gets merged into your recommendations, your fees, and VAT treatment for automatic disclosure. And again, because of how in Curo everything is logically linked, at the click of a button, I can see which clients have already taken advantage of the service, Mr. Tempest, a client of Roland's in this particular case. So I sincerely hope that you found that useful and my demonstration interesting. Do please get in contact with us if you have any questions or if you would like to understand how Curo and our own services can help to digitally transform your business.